Hi everyone and welcome to another video by BioTeach, this time looking at the Extended Diploma Applied Science and the future educational options you've got, specifically looking at university options. I've had so many questions about the types of subjects that students can go on to study at university and I thought it would be useful to create a video looking at the top options that students tend to apply for to give some ideas to students on the BTEC Applied Science course of various universities and courses that they can apply for through UCAS. So I first wanted to address some of the frequently asked questions that I get around my videos and also on messages on Instagram. The first one tends to be that, you know, can I go to university with a level three qualification on the applied science? And the answer is yes. More than 95% of universities accept the BTEC level three national extended diploma as an entry point for their degree level courses. And the majority of them are science based subjects. But that doesn't mean that you have to do a science based subject if you've do, done a level three qualification. Some of my students will apply for things like accounting, finance and subjects such as law as well. So it's really important that you do your own research to try and find out what the entry points are for the subjects that you want to study at university. The second question really relates to which type of subjects students tend to apply for. So things like biomedicine, pharmacy are really popular, including the straight biology, psychology, physics and chemistry related degrees. But some of our students will go on to study things like neuroscience and bioengineering as well. So I've summarised some of the popular courses on here to give you an idea of the universities that offer those courses and what the entry requirements are. And in addition to that, I've also gone and done some research on gateway dentistry or oral hygiene courses, as well as the medicine courses, which are growing in popularity with the BTEC students. The last question that I tend to get asked is whether you need A-levels alongside your BTEC qualification or whether the combinations work. Now, some universities like King's College, Queen Mary University in London will ask for an A-level on the side as well as the BTEC National Extended Diploma. That can be quite hard because lots of schools and colleges may not offer that option. So it's really important that you do your research about the universities that you want to apply for and specifically call them or check online to see if they require an A-level on the side as well. So before we get going on speaking about the specific courses, I do want to just make sure that you're all aware that this is my own research that I've done. I'm not affiliated with any of these universities. And so you do need to make sure that before you go ahead and take any advice or any information from this video, you do your own research so that you're well informed about what it is that you're applying for and what the entry requirements are. So the first one I wanted to talk about was pharmacy. Pharmacy is a really good option for BTEC students and a really popular option as well. I think the majority of the students who I teach on the BTEC Applied Science will apply for pharmacy or pharmacology related courses. So I've got the names of universities on the side over here and I've, I've kind of summarised them as to five popular universities that I know are really good at taking BTEC students on. So Hertfordshire University, based in Hertfordshire, obviously, has the entry requirements of DDM or Distinction Distinction Merit for their pharmacy courses. De Montfort University, which is based in Leicester, does a couple of courses for pharmacy. DDM for the main pharmacy course, but if you don't meet DDM, then there is a year zero qualification, which requires you to get a MMM or three merits. This is the equivalent of three Cs at A-level. Now the year zero qualifications are designed to basically enhance the foundation of your knowledge before you move on to the year one of the course. Quite often the year zero qualification doesn't count for a qualification on its own. So if you were to drop out after year zero, you'll have paid for the qualification, but you won't have anything to your name. So it's really important that you understand that it is a paid course, it adds an extra year to your studies, but it does require you to pass any assessment or entry requirements before you go on to the main part of your study. The third option there is Reading University. In fact, this year, one of my students has been given a conditional offer for Reading University to study pharmacy. Um, so that's a really good option to have a look at. They do a foundation course for DMM. So almost the, the same as the year zero courses, but the foundation will pass you on to the kind of extended diploma. Um, but their year one course will be a DDM um, entry requirement. 
Then you've got East Anglia University, who have got the entry requirement of DDM as well. And finally, Kingston University for the M Farm with the same entry requirement as the others, DDM. So you'll see that there is a trend here for all of them. For the year one entry, you do need distinction, distinction, merit. Biomedicine is also another popular one. So again, I've got five universities here. So you've got Hertfordshire, DMM, Sussex, DDM, Portsmouth, DDM to DDD, Bradford University, DDD, and Brunel University, DDD. Brunel are actually really good um, at their life sciences programs. They're really, really good to look at for anyone who's considering going to Brunel University. It's based in London. And they do a program known as LBIC. Um, so that's something that you should look for. So that's LBIC. So please look out for that. Please look at research for Brunel University. It's an excellent university to go to. The third option I'm looking over here is for dentistry and oral hygiene. Now, traditionally, maybe only about three or four years ago, lots of universities didn't consider the BTEC qualification for entry into dentistry. And most of them are still around the same, but they have designed these gateway courses to enable BTEC students to enroll onto them. So Bristol University offer a gateway course and their entry requirement is DMM for that. Gateway essentially is an extra year. So a bit like the foundation, they allow you to enter onto the, the foundation course and then you enter onto the first year of the program. You've got Cardiff University that are looking at a course called dental surgery and they've got a preliminary year so that's like the year zero or the foundation year and their entry requirement is DDD. Queen Mary University offer a course in oral health and the entry requirement for that is DDM. Now the oral health course would give you the option of transferring onto the dentistry course but you would have to inquire with Queen Mary about that and what the likelihood of that is. It's not like it's guaranteed, it's likely that they'll probably have some form of assessment that you've got to pass but if you're looking to apply to Queen Mary please look at the options for transferring and if they offer them at all. The fourth option there is Portsmouth University. Again, the course is dental hygiene and their entry requirements is DDM to DDD. And it's the same as what I said for Queen Mary. They may have an assessment for you to transfer onto the dentistry course, but it's not guaranteed. It's really important that you understand that. And then the last option is the UCLan option for dental therapy. So this is a Lancashire based university and they require D star D star D as the entry requirement. So that's the highest entry requirement for the universities that I've been able to find information on that are courses related to oral hygiene or dentistry. And then finally, this is the one that lots of BTEC students are very excited about. It's the foundation medicine or the medicine courses. Now, again, it's the same as dentistry. Years ago, they didn't have any options for BTEC students to enter onto a medicine program. But now we've got some gateway courses and some foundation year courses that should allow you to transfer onto the full-time medicine courses. So the first one is Leicester University and they offer medicine with a foundation year and the entry requirements for that are DDD. You've got Bradford University now they offer clinical sciences slash medicine and I think the idea of this from my understanding from the website is that you do the one year of clinical sciences and then you've got the option if you've passed the assessment to transfer onto the medicine course. The entry requirement for Bradford University is DMM. And then you've got Bristol University again offering the gateway course, so that's the foundation. The entry requirement is DMM. You've got East Anglia, similar to Bristol, offering the gateway course, DDM this time, so just one grade higher. And finally, you've got Plymouth University that offer medicine with a foundation year, and that's also DDM. So again, you're looking at grades between DMM and DDD, with DDM probably being the safer option to kind of um, achieve at the end of your second year of your course. Now, one thing that I would say is for both dentistry and medicine, you've got to meet the early deadline for the application. So the early deadline for this academic year of 2020-2021 has already passed. That was back in October. It's usually around the middle of October. And so for the next academic year of 21-22 so this would be entry to university for 2022 so anyone who's in their first year of the BTEC course you would need to get your personal statements completed over the summer and handed over to your tutors at the beginning of the second year so that you can apply with the deadline of the 
the middle of October, they always do early deadlines for medicine and um, dentistry. So it's really important that you understand that if you're a first year student. If you're a second year student watching this video now, you've missed the deadline now, so you won't be able, able to apply for these courses. And unfortunately, from the research that I've done, it seems that they don't take students on for clearing options. These courses have highly popular and you've got to understand also that A-level students who haven't met their entry requirements will also be applying for these courses so that's quite an important thing to remember that it is you know the competition for dentistry medicine and pharmacy really is quite quite high so you've got to be prepared for that and you've got to do activities that set you apart from other candidates as well. So just a quick reminder, guys, that this information is my own research. And at the time of filming this video, all of that information was correct. So if you're watching this video quite a way down the line, then this information may not be correct. I would really urge you to do your own research, make a note of the universities I've mentioned, go to their websites directly and look at their own entry requirements. And year on year, some of these entry requirements may change. So you've got to be aware of that as well. If you're unsure about what the entry requirements are, or you've got questions that you need answering, the best thing to do is to call the admissions department at these universities and ask them directly. From my experience, I've found them to be very, very helpful and they give excellent advice to students who don't really know what it is that they need to do and any deadlines that they need to meet. In the meantime, guys, please make sure that you stay safe. And if there's any questions, please post them below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and please share this video with anyone that you think might find it useful. Bye for now.